In this presentation, we will continue on with our comprehensive problem. This time, we will be recording the second transaction on January 2nd, where we're going to buy more equipment. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Uh, if you're not using the second worksheet and you're just doing this all in one worksheet, note that you might have to unfreeze the panes to get back over here by going to the View tab, Windows, Freeze Panes, and they'll be Unfreeze here. And that'll allow you to see go back to column A here so you can work through that. All right, so we're going to start here. Uh, the date is going to be here on B9 where we're going to say January or 1 slash 2, January 2nd. Now we're going to buy equipment. We're just going to buy it with cash. Now, when we go through our, our questions, I typically will go over here and first ask the question, is cash affected? And in this case, we're going to say, yeah, we bought cash. Why do we start with cash? Because it's usually the easiest thing to know what happens. It's the fastest way to start most journal entries. So it's good to just get in the habit of starting there. So cash is a debit. We need to make it go down. So we do the opposite thing to it, a debit, meaning this has a positive number. We need to make it go down. We're going to do the opposite thing to it, a negative number or this is a positive credit, we're going to do a negative, I mean, this is a positive debit, we're going to do a negative credit to it. So I'm going to copy cash, I'm going to right click and copy it on L5. We're going to put it below the date here. So I'm going to put it in cell C10, right click and paste 1, 2, 3. Now note once again, I'm constructing the bottom of the journal entry first, which you might say, I want to work from top to bottom, debits, and then left to right. But note that it's easier, it's best not to work just by what happens to be on top based on convention, but based on what's the easiest thing to do. It's easiest to think of cash first. So for me, even if I have to construct the thing in a, in a reverse order for more complex journal entries, I would rather put credits on top and be not in accordance with our traditional convention and be able to construct faster and be able to read it. And if I then want to go back and readjust it to put the debits on top, then can do so. Here I happen to know there's only two accounts, so I'll just start on the bottom first. And so here it is, we're, we're gonna indent that then, go into the Home tab, Alignment, Increase and Denting, and then we're gonna put the credit over here, which I'm gonna put with a negative number of 40,000. So I'm gonna put a negative to represent a credit for us to make things easier, 40,000. When I hit Enter, it's gonna put the brackets, it's just gonna format it for us. Then I'm going to debit something for 40000 It's just going to have two accounts, so I have to have a debit. I'm going to put the debit on top. I'm not just going to type it in there. I'm going to use a little formula. I'm going to put negative of this number. So negative is kind of like an equal sign, but we're going to put negative instead, and that number will take it and flip the sign. So you could just type in 40000 but I like to use a little formula whenever possible. Note that Excel kind of implemented the equal. So it's just said, oh, you want a negative, you must mean equals negative, and it'll do that for you. So you don't need to really type equals negative. You just put negative of this number, and Excel will say that means you must want to take this number and multiply it times negative 1, in essence. Okay, so then we just need to know what this account will be, and of course, what did we buy? We bought equipment. So we're going to make equipment go up. Equipment has a debit balance. We're going to make it go up by doing the same thing to it, another debit. Note what we're not doing. Even though we paid cash this time, we're not debiting equipment expense. We're putting it into the asset account. We're increasing the asset. Why? Because we haven't yet consumed it yet. We're buying something that we haven't yet used. We will expense it, but we're going to expense it when we use it in accordance with the matching principle. Uh, notice if, if we bought equipment that we're going to use for the next five years and we debit expense at the point in time we purchase it, Net income for January would go down by a lot by the amount of equipment we purchased. And when we compare January to February, it wouldn't be fair to January. It would look like we had a terrible month. But we didn't have a terrible month. We bought an investment. We invested in equipment that we expect to be used for many months into the future. So it's not like February we did better in compared to January if we were to expense the entire piece of equipment. So that's why what, what we're going to do is we're going to put it on the books as an asset. And then we will expense it with the use of, a, of an estimate, as we'll do in the adjusting entries process, which will be which will be depreciation expense. We'll say, okay, how much do you think we should allocate? How much have, of it has we consumed? How much of this cost have we used during this time period, during this month? Okay, so we're going to debit the equipment in L10. Right-click and copy. 
We'll put that up top in C9, right click and paste, one, two, three. So there's our journal entry. We're gonna go through the process of posting now. Now again, when you post it, you could do this, like what we've done now, just to recap, we've journalized the journal entry, we've journalized the journal entry, we've made the journal entry in the general journal, this blue area. And we're gonna go post it now to the general ledger, scrolling right, this area. The general ledger will then be used to create the trial balance automatically for us so we can see what's going on. Now to post it, we could make this really small. I'm not gonna do this, I'm just showing you if you, if you wanna do this, make this really small. Note when you do that, you might make the cells too small and get those hashtag marks, which means you just need to widen the cell to see them, to see the numbers in it. Uh, or I'm going to go back up to 130. We can use the freezing panes function, which I'm going to practice doing here. So we're going to freeze the pane so we can see the right and while the left is still here. To do that, I don't want to see column A, so I'm going to go to the right just a bit. So I'm at 130. I went to the right, so B is flush with the side. Then we're gonna to go to cell K1, then go to the View tab up top, then go to the Windows group, go to the Freeze Panes, and freeze the pane. Pane has been frozen. That means if we go to the right, these cells where we froze the pane, B, C, D, and E are still there. So then we're gonna to go to the left, there we have it. So now we're gonna post this out. Here it is in the, general, in the journal entry that we wanna post. We want to post it to this account on the trial balance, one, two, three, four, five, six accounts down. It'll be the same number of accounts over, or down or over, or down and then over, on the general ledger. So here's the GL, cash, accounts receivable, supplies, and then equipment. I'm just going over so it's side by side. So we want to be here, equipment, debit side, debit side, and we want to be in cell W10, W10, where we will say equals and point to that 40,000. That will bring the 20,000 balance up by 40,000 to a total of 60,000. That 60,000 then will pull over to the trial balance, which we can see if we click just to the left of the frozen panes and go right one time with the arrow keys, it'll pop back over. There's the 60,000. We are now out of balance by 40. And so, because we haven't recorded the credit side, so we will do so now. That's going to be going to cash. Here's cash there. Here's cash in the trial balance. Here's cash on the GL. I'm going to go to the right just a bit so we can see it there. Get rid of those. We're going to record this on the credit side. So here's cash. We want to be on the credit side. We're in P10. Uh, we don't need to put a negative here. We just need to always use equals because the negative is already over here. So we're always just using equals in the GL. Point to that 40,000. This is 80. That's a debit. This is credit. Those are opposites. It's going to bring the 80 down by 42. 40. Now, if we go all the way to the bottom, this cell then is being used to create the trial balance. If we click just to the left of the frozen panes and go right with the arrow, there's the 40,000 now. So now we're back in balance uh, here. Debits equal the credits. And if we just check out what we're doing as we go, it gives us a really good idea of, of what is happening here. Notice we still have cash. Cash went down and the equipment went up. That's what happened here. Cash went down, equipment went up. No change to the uh, total assets, liabilities, or equity. One asset account went down, one asset account went up. So in terms of what we have, we still have 40,000 cash, 60,000 of equipment now. We've now sunk our cash into the investment of equipment. And if we were to liquidate this company, we still basically owe that, in, that money back to the owner. Meaning if we liquidated the company, we would probably sell the equipment or uh, you know just distribute it back to the owner but if we sold the equipment and then we would get 60,000 cash theoretically that we would then give to the owner now note of course we're probably not going to get 60,000 cash at this point in time because we bought the equipment if we sold it now it has gone down in value now we will write the decrease in value in a way uh, when we do the, the adjusting entries when we record depreciation when we record the cost of the equipment uh, in accordance with the time period it was consumed in order to generate revenue. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.